here. We have, an, we have a new co-worker with us. It's our new co-host. I know. I wonder Angel. if our boss would let us take Angel back to the studio. I don't know. He's over here. Maybe not. He's, she has a job to do. We have to, We have to have her here. Angel is going to be very busy this weekend yes. because Angel and all the critters are very mm -hmm. popular. The petting zoo is right next to the WSAC mm -hmm. booth. So when you, after you're stopping by to visit us, stop by and visit Angel. And Angel's owners, uh, Tom and Judy Ross, are here with Good yes. News Llamas. Yeah. All and, going to uh, be part of the, the kids' adventure garden because we've got oh to get the, the, the little ones. He gave fun. me the leash. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so the, the four groups that are going to be set up over here, Grits Farm, Green Clovers, 4-H Club, Little Victories, Animal Rescue, and then Good News Llamas and okay. Angel. And Angel is very hungry, so we're going to try this trick that we've been working oh, you're on. <laughs> okay. Oh, and a hug. Oh my goodness! So you can stop by. What, and, it, what is it? You say, Tom, that she's been an kissed angel. by an angel? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was more than a kiss. <laughs> oh, I don't know though. I've got lip gloss on. I'm worried that it won't. Okay. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Just your lips. Yeah. <laughs> Just your lips. <laughs> okay. Now I have to give her a hug. Oh. So this is. Uh, you can kiss uh, Angel and have a lot of fun. And I understand something new this year. You all are going to do a drawing for some really Check cool t-shirts. Check this out. Look, new this year. So if you kiss Angel the Llama, you give her a little treat, you're going to be entered into a drawing for a t-shirt. We've got about Isn't 30 of these that we're giving away. That is so And you cute. can go home with one of these. I love them. And they're WSAZ blue. They're I, I, perfect. Yeah, it is. I kissed the llama. So that's new this year that we're it's going to be funny. offering. Yes. But let's go ahead and talk with yeah. uh, Tom and Judy because um, you all put so much work into this. Judy, go ahead and come over here with us yes. if you don't mind. Yes. Uh, this is such a, a passion project of your it all. Is. Spreading it the is. good news. You all take Angel and some of your others out to nursing homes, schools, they go church on visits. groups. Mm -hmm. I mean, how special is that for you? It's very special because we go to Woodlands. We go inside Woodlands, even to the second floor to the... Uh, what's that called, special needs people. Uh -huh. They're uh, constant care people, mm -hmm. excuse me. And they have a huge room and we just lead her around and she love, people love to pet her yes. and uh, kiss her and <laughs> get along with her great. We do it We do it with churches. Mm -hmm. we go, we've go. we been in every nursing home in the area oh, at, wow. at some time. Yeah. And, um, um, and I know that you brought your loom here. Talk about, because you like to show and educate. You make things with their wool. Right. Yeah. Right. We'll also be doing a demonstration Look at all this over here. spinning wheel. The main reason we like to do this is to answer the question, what do you do with a llama? That is a good question. And we have posters over here for kids to look at with everything that we've done with our llamas. I'll be spinning uh, llama fiber, showing people we make our own hand wow. spun yarn, we make rugs, we make all kinds of things that these beautiful animals produce for us. So we especially like to take the spinning wheel into nursing homes because some of those people used to do this. Mm -hmm. They used to spin, they understand it, they understand about the yarn that we're making, and that's just a big part of what we do at Good News Llamas. We are thrilled that you all do and that you're back again this year. That's a Jacob sheep, that's what that is. Oh, this oh, is okay. Wow. Oh, so you make things out of sheep wool too? Yes, I do. Okay. Llama and sheep. Wow. Yes, that is incredibly warm. So we want to remind everybody, you all are going to be here all weekend. But even beyond this weekend, where can people find you or contact you if they want to bring a group to either visit you or you to come visit them? Yes, ma'am. We have uh, we have a web page. It's goodnewslamas.com. So you can email us or uh, just call us. The number's there. And give us a call, and we'll set it a date up. We'd love to bring them and share with you. Um, and you all are located? In Chesapeake. Ohio. Okay. And our main reason is we feel like God gave us these beautiful animals, so the very least we can do is share the good news of the gospel with them. Uh -huh. And that's why we're called Good News Llamas, okay? That's and I was great. wondering, because I, I was asking about Angel. You said Angel is, she's 18 years old now, she's right? 18. 18? Yes. And you said that you've been bringing her since she was six, six months, months old? Six months. She was weaned at six months. Oh. Yeah. 
Well, well, I knew we'd seen Angel over the years, yeah. but I just didn't realize that was that she well, hey, started out that to, young. This used to be cold black, and now it's a little bit gray. Oh, so, like, well, and like the rest like of us. And, <laughs> and because of me, she has some new makeup that she's wearing yeah, on her own. Sparkly <laughs> lip. <laughs> yeah. oh. oh, my goodness. And you can tell they love people. They really do. Yes. They are very people friendly. Uh -huh. We couldn't take them in nursing yeah. homes or churches or wherever without them being a friendly animal. Yeah. Of course, you have to be a little smarter in the animal. You have to yeah. handle them in the appropriate way. Yes. So. Well, we're glad that you all are back yes, again this year. Yes, and thank year. you for visiting with us this morning. We yes. appreciate it. I want to say one more thing, yes, if I might. Yes, absolutely. John Mar is the one that got us started. John's a friend of mine. Oh. You all had the one year you had it, and I seen him at Southern States or somewhere, and he said, uh, Tom, won't you bring your animals next year to the home show? It was called then, and okay. I said, yeah, we'd love to. Oh, and so we a have great tradition has we started. <laughs> that is wonderful. So as we wrap up everything here for now, we want to remind you, you can see mm -hmm. the, the llamas. You can pick up some seeds to plant uh, things and get some great ideas for your house all weekend long. Yep, you just saw those hours. We're here today, tomorrow, and on Sunday. Come and visit with us. Things kicking off at 4 o'clock today. And thank you for being with us.